All right, no joke, I've actually found an ISO of BOS on WinWorld, and I'll include the link down below where I can download the ISO and then burn it. It's coming along, so make sure you burn it to a CD, especially if you're using this PC. It's really small, it's only like 200 megs, but whatever. Oh, what did I do? Okay, all fixed. And I'm gonna use image burn to burn the actual image. This program is totally free, just look it up, IMG burn. All right, this should be interesting because this computer is actually newer than this operating system which came out in I think uh, 1997, went on to like 2002 or something. We'll just go through this and, oh well, my mouse works. This is a USB mouse too. Uh, okay, we'll go through and then uh, install shit. So I want to install to my HP Pavilion whole 69 gigabyte drive, which is not very big. I think we can just hit begin. Yeah, it's gonna erase everything, but who cares? Mm hmm. Should work. I don't think we'll call it that anymore, though. Let's call it BOS. We want to be in OS. What do we? Alright, let's go. Initialize. Bummer. <laughs> That's what I loved about you, uh, BOS. It would say shit like this like, bummer. Like, bummer. Who does that? Uh, why can't I do this? Because it's a bummer. Very different. Uh... All right, so we have to go back here and go to more options, and then format the drive completely. Huh? All right, this might take a bit. <laughs> okay, so what I w actually ended up doing was making the uh, recovery drive, which I don't need. It's only five gigs. This whole OS is only two hundred megabytes and then I use that to install. So I can still keep my Windows XP installation, which is groovy, I guess. It's a great sunset out there, I must say, but just listen to the beauty of this machine. Even without all this crap in here, it's pretty noisy. So you pretty much want to stick to like FAT32 to install this and uh, stick around, you know, a small file size. What is this nonsense? Is that like the wallpaper during install? It's kind of cool. It's still going. So it looks like it's going to boot up. Whatever. Let's see if it goes on here now. Oh, my goodness. And it works. My mouse works. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I might have to hook up uh, internet directly to the ethernet cable though. I don't think the wireless is going to work on this thing. That is not a possibility, but what do we have here? Wow, all sorts of stuff. This is very similar to um, Linux, sir. But do you see how this kind of looks like, um, almost like OS X9, I would say. Just the layout and everything is very similar to OS X10. But wow, it comes with like a whole pile of programs. And all this stuff is under 300 megabytes. That is pretty slick, I must say. Tedios. Okay, that's a burner. Seal amp. Oh my goodness, that's Winamp. That looks just like Winamp. And it snaps. Check that out. We got snapping. That was before its time. That's very nice. Do we have skins for Winamp? We do. I don't know what else to do until I get this thing online. So I'll probably just uh, check out now and then come back later. I wonder if I can capture it directly from my screen. I might be able to, I think. Back in the day I could. Remember this operating system is from like about 2002? And it's running on the machine from like uh, 2006, I guess? I have no idea. We'll figure this out. Right now, I'm guessing you pretty much want to get internet going on here. So the first thing you do is go to this, then preferences, <clears throat> into network. And this will open this, and you look at this menu, and you're going to want to change this to, well, first you find your adapter, go to settings, and change this to DHCP, and what we use now. And then you're going to want to go to another computer, and go to command, and uh, if, if, if you know this much, skip ahead but uh, you're gonna want to open up command and type in ipconfig slash 
at all. And in this information, you're going to get your DNS servers right there, and that's what you need. So, just take those two numbers, punch them into here, then we click save, and hopefully, we, well, yeah, we'll restart. Hopefully, we'll get some actual interwebs going on this uh, BOS machine. Okay, this is getting pretty ge geeky, but you can tell, like, there's really cool shit in here. That's very similar to. OS is I didn't have this like in this menu I kill the bug or change priority so I can actually go through and change priority of my programs that I'm using right here and just drag through them keep in mind this OS is very old I'm now online check it out we're on Google it looks just perfectly natural with all this crap on it what is going on yeah, I'm going to have to install a new browser and figure something out because even getting it online is a pain in the ass, but getting it this far is more of a pain in the ass. And let me remind you guys, this is not like my best machine. These are like junk pile things I've just gotten for free or whatever and slapped together for fun. I might sell this for like 20 bucks. Seriously, you know, if someone wants it, they can take it. But for now, it's just a project and it's better I do something with it than it goes off to the scrap pile. Anyways, thanks for watching continued in the next part. Bye-bye.